Welcome back to the 2 minute drilling series. In this video, we will explain the hoisting mechanism in only 2 minutes as usual. The hoisting mechanism used in drilling rigs is basically block and tackle. But let's explain how it works. With a single pulley and rope, to hoist a 100 Newton load, we will need at least an equivalent force or counterweight. The tension on both sides of the rope is 100 Newtons. Let's now replace the counterweight with a winch so we can move the load. Similar to the previous example, in order to lift the load, we have to pull with at least an equivalent force, so the tension in both sides of the rope has to be 100 Newtons. Now we can add another moving pulley and attach the weight to it. The end of the rope will be anchored. In this new arrangement, the 100 newtons is divided between the two parts of the rope holding the load, which means that the tension in each part is 50 newtons. Accordingly, the force required to hoist the 100 newtons will be only 50 newtons. However, we have to double the length of the used rope to move the load to the same height. This is what we call mechanical advantage, which allows us to manipulate different variables such as force and displacement to utilize the available energy. Now let's add another two pulleys. With applying the same concept, we will find that the tension in each part of the rope becomes 25 newtons, which means that the required force to hoist the load is reduced to only 25 newtons. But again, we have to pull four times the length of the rope we use in the single pulley system. We can add another static pulley just to guide the rope to be anchored to the floor. This final arrangement is similar to what we have on the drilling rigs. The fixed block is mounted at the top of the derrick and it's called the crown block. The moving one is called the traveling block. I hope that you enjoyed this series. If you did, please follow and subscribe to see more videos.